Hello Aries and welcome to your reading. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading. It will not resonate for everyone. Okay, let's get started. The King of Pentacles. This could be a father figure. This is uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could have it in your chart. Spirit. The Six of Pentacles in the reverse. This talks about an imbalance. It could be an imbalance within a situation, a relationship. There is no equal give and take. It's uh, one-sided. Okay. Two of cups in the reverse. So there is love here. There's mutual love, unconditional love. Either someone's not expressing this. This is love and separation. Okay, there's a separation and imbalance. And someone not is not probably not expressing how they feel. It could be you, the other person, it could be both of you. Okay, I'm taking jumpers. Okay, the spirit, or what it is that I need to see for Aries. the king of cups in the reverse so this is unconditional love a very loving king but he's not expressing his emotions this is scorpio pisces or cancer aries the high priestess Talks about secrets, hidden agendas, someone having to confront their dark side. <clears throat> Some toxic behavior that they need to, to deal with. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So someone stop putting effort in this relationship. Time and effort, okay? So you're probably not, you know, you're at a distance from one another. You may or may not be communicating. Tell what it is that I need to see for Aries. The Empress. This is the feminine energy. Very nurturing. Okay. Mother figure. Okay, the spirit. The Page of Wands. So there might be some communication or someone might want to communicate, okay? It could be a small message, nothing big, okay? Someone's probably not, you know, expressing any emotion in their communication the queen of swords this is libra gemini aquarius this queen in the reverse she can be cold okay she can be very analytical not showing her emotions as well Okay. 
Queen's spirit. And what is that? Let's just see. The Five of Cups in the reverse. So someone is feeling the the loss. Of, okay, someone is feeling the regret. Okay, but they want to release all of that. Okay, they don't want to hold on to this loss, to this regret anymore. Okay. They probably want to <clears throat> come back to you. Okay. They might have expressed to you that they want to reconcile. Okay. But someone doesn't want to focus on the loss anymore here. Okay, for spirit and for Aries. Aries, the strength. Okay. So someone needs courage. Maybe to express their feelings because they're because they're not expressing them, okay. Maybe this situation requires patience. Whatever happened between you two, okay, it's gonna take time. Okay, let's continue. Please, spirit. Um, Eight of Wands in the reverse. So there, there might be problems with communication, delays, misunderstandings, misinterpretations. Someone probably wants to hear a few things, but they're not, you know. Maybe someone wants, you know, the other person to reach out with emotion. But they're, the other person is not doing that. Or if there's no communication for now, okay, there will be in the future. Or maybe someone wants to find the courage to communicate. Magician, so someone is manifesting this, okay. <laughs> someone what it has all the tools and resources needed, okay, to make this possible to manifest this. Okay, let's see. Plus Aries. The Four of Cups. So someone is not happy with their present situation. They're bored. And they're stuck. Okay? In this unhappiness. Maybe someone rejected you in the past. You rejected them. They're thinking about what they lost. Okay? And they're they're not happy. <clears throat> the nine of knight of cups again. There's no expression of emotions. Okay. There is a lot of love here. Okay, with the two of cups, the king of cups. But no one's expressing it. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles, we have a pair here. A lot of people here. It could be the same people, but you know, with different energies. So this is a a mother figure, financially stable. 
Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. The six of wands in the reverse. Okay. So someone, you know, feels the loss here. They realize that this breakup, you know, was a loss, was a lost opportunity. It could talk also about an imbalance, okay, within the the relationship. And it could also talk about a betrayal. The Queen of Wands in the reverse. So this is your card. Aries, also Leo and Sagittarius. Okay, the Spirit. Tolerance that I need to see. The King of Wands. Another pair. Aries, this is your card. And this King of Wands is looking right at the Queen of Wands here. And the Queen of Pentacles. It could be the same, you know, the same Queen. Different energies. The, king, the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. And all of these people here are not express, are expressing any emotion. Okay, let's see what's going on here. The spirit, the world. So this is, talks about this breakup, okay? And now someone wants a new beginning, and they're manifesting this new beginning. Okay, big time. They really, really want this, okay? And they'll, they want to have the strength and courage, okay? To sort of just communicate, so, you know. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Spirit. Aries, the Page of Cups, frustrations, no, again, it confirms, it's like this, it just confirms that no one's expressing their emotions here, and you're probably mirroring each other, right, since this is probably like, maybe a soul connection here, yeah, you're mirroring each other, probably. No, no one's expressing anything here. And it creates, like, you know, frustrations. Some, you know, nobody's happy. It's, it's a loss here. It's a really big loss. Here. The four of wands. So there's a possibility of commitment, long-term commitment, even marriage, it's on the table here. Once someone expresses, you know, how they feel, there could be, you know, there's obviously an obstacle here that prevents someone from expressing, okay, <clears throat> how they feel. And now we have, this is like, this is also, I think this is like soulmate twin, yeah, soulmate twin flame with the two cups, the emperor, the empress. This is your card, Aries. And marriage, you know, there's a possibility of marriage, you know, whatever happened between you two to cause this breakup. Let's see. Three of Cups in the reverse. 
could talk about third parties. It, it could be a third party here, another person. It could be another, uh, you know, yeah, another energy preventing you two from, you know, coming together. I think maybe you both, you know, because you're at a distance from one another, maybe you don't even know how you feel about what, you know, the other person doesn't know how the other one feels. And it's like mutual. Maybe it's been a long time since you haven't spoken to one another. You know, there's been a lot of, you know, distance and time has passed since you broke up. So no one knows how the other one feels. Yeah. Okay, okay, spirit. Tell it is that I need to see. So someone wants a new beginning here. A passionate new beginning. Okay. So there's marriage, commitment. There's, well, maybe marriage. Okay. Spirit tell it is I need to see for Aries here. The devil. Yeah, there's toxic behavior here. There's toxic energy. You know, with the that here with the high priestess, they need to confront and they need to release. Okay, they need to confront. They may, ha they might have this fear, you know, to confront, to deal with this, you know, this toxic behavior. Okay, it could be obsessions, um, third parties, addictions, alcohol. You know, it could be uh, anything, but this person. I don't know if we're gonna see the tower here. If they're going to uh, to release them, but they need to let go, okay, of things that do not serve them, things that will prevent you know you two from coming together. And with the three of cups here in the the reverse, that's why this person also sees that it's like for this to come together, it requires a lot of work. And the, the Eight of Pentacles here in the reverse, this person wants to skip steps. That's what I see. They want this reconciliation. They want to get back together with you. But, you know, it's like, could we just, you know, forgive and forget? But that doesn't work like that. Okay? They don't want to put in the work to, to have to deal with, you know, the issues that they need to, to let go. The Page of Swords... In the reverse so yeah I mean there's no communication here for I don't, I don't see any communication for now and things look stagnant Maybe someone is waiting for the other person to, you know, it's like, who's who's going to communicate, who's going to break the silence first here, you know, and you're both waiting on each other. So, yeah, this is like divinely guided. This is going to be divinely guided because nobody's taking action. Nobody's doing anything. So the wheel of fortune is like luck is on your side here. Maybe now is not, right, is not the right time, okay? to reach out because everything happens for a reason okay so maybe now is not the right time in divine timing someone will reach out <clears throat> okay the spirit the knight of swords so someone needs to plan this if they have to reach out. This has to be planned out, okay? It can't be like impulsive communication, you know, with harsh words and 
things need to ple to be planned out. You know, think about what it is that you need to avoid frustrations. Maybe someone is like cautious, you know, needs to be cautious in how they communicate. You need to be careful. So seven of cups in the reverse. Someone knows they they have clarity, okay, who they want to be with. They know who, you know. They know that they need to let go. If there's a third party, they need to let go of that third party and and you know and come to you. Yeah, this person knows what they have to do here. The Emperor. Yeah, I think it's you, Aries. But it could be vice versa, maybe. Yeah. Okay, the spirit tells that I need to see for Aries. The chariot. Okay, so this is positive. Okay, so someone is, you know, they know, they have clarity. See? Who they want to be with and what they need to do to move forward you know to move towards you or vice versa they're going to go in in the right path okay they're going to follow the right path okay temperance patience i think patience is required here right and healing yeah a lot of patience and also to express express you know your emotions and taking action yeah yeah you need to balance like how you feel and how you express it to express how you feel And then they want to come towards you. Okay? Yeah. They want to heal things. They're, you know, they're moving forward, the right, you know, towards you. Six of swords here. Yeah. After they release this, you know, Toxic energy. Waiting for the right time. This is the, yeah, this is divinely guided. This is not the right time. So, when it will be the right time, they will move towards you, okay? You, you're probably not, you know, you're maybe not living in, in the same city, okay? You're at a distance from one another. They're probably, you know, going to move, you know, next to where you live if they want to be with you but you know this is like i feel here it's it requires baby steps here because before this happens this you know moving forward it, yeah there are other things that this person needs to deal with Ten of Wands, so burns. Releasing these burns, okay? Releasing what does not serve you, okay? Letting go of what, what doesn't serve you anymore. This toxic behavior. And then start this new beginning, okay? After tens, tens are completions, then we have the Ace of Wands. okay so patience here okay because i see that it's gonna happen in the future okay there's even marriage here 
So this is the when the, 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 the time will be right, okay? But probably not now. Now things are like stagnant, really. Yeah. <clears throat> Someone needs to express their emotions first before anything can happen. Okay. So we have, for the signs, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pi. Everybody's here, really. Virgo, Gemini, Gemini, you know. Aries. Yeah, all the signs are here, basically. So, so that's it, Aries. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. And see you next time. Bye.